Hello everybody, this is Ben for the Blue Monday podcast and I need to get my breath back because <sighs> I have just witnessed Millwall 3, Ipswich Town 4, um, Mick overuses the word bonkers, that game was fucking bonkers, absolutely ridiculous, so if you watched my video earlier, you will notice that I got the team 100% correct, so it was a 4-4-2, uh, Barton goal, I offer right back, Spence and Chambers, um, makeshift centre back, more on that <laughs> during the game, uh, Knudsen left back, Skews and Ward back um, in centre midfield, Waghorn, a centre forward at right midfield, Sears, a centre forward at left midfield. McGoldrick starting for the first, no, for, start against Luton, but starting for the first time in the league this season. Um, up front with Garner. And after 47 seconds, um, Mill will take the lead. Uh, O'Brien with the cross, it falls down to Wallace. He kind of swipes right foot um, volley. Horrible deflection. Bart dives this way. Ball goes that way. 1-0. Millwall. Um, attacking free kick. Uh, Ward puts it in. Waghorn misses the chance at the back. And after all of four minutes, we get the second goal. 1-1. Um, it's given away in midfield. Um, Iorfa feeds it to Garner. Garner turns. It's a bit of a speculative long-range shot. That one takes a deflection as well. The keeper's diving this way. Sticks his hand out. It trickles in the goal. Four minutes. Two goals. Two deflections. Start again. Drawing now. Um, 11th minute, long throw in. Morrison wins the header. He's literally winning everything in the air against the Ipswich centre halves. Um, O'Brien puts it over. Um, at this point, Chambers goes down and everybody panics. Um, he's down a little while, but he's the bionic man who never gets injured and plays every minute. If he'd have gone then, um, Ipswich in real, real trouble. Only centre half there. Um, Ipswich at this point they seem to be playing a bit more direct than they have in the previous games 17th minute uh, Gregory is clean through but the ref blows for a foul on Chambers by Morrison I have got lots of notes so I'll go as fast as I can um, great pass by McGoldrick out to Garner um, good crossing position couldn't find Waghorn uh, yellow card for Ward great block by Orpha goal bound shot by Saville um, Iorfa has a horrible like blundery 15 seconds where he has about 25 chances to clear the ball and can't do it in the end gives away a free kick and it's headed over by Hutchison uh, Meredith um, goes into I don't know who's he going on the shit list I'm too happy to put anyone on the shit list today um, great one two by Meredith the left back comes cuts in and he gets booked for diving Chambers wasn't very happy and in the 33rd minute a counter attack is given away in midfield to Garner uh, he gets it to Ward and this is brilliant Ward goes into the area engages the defender stops comes on his right foot takes him on again crosses it left foot and this is the joy about having a centre forward in right midfield Waghorn has the eye for goal he makes the run from right midfield across to near post smashes it in for his second Ipswich goal um, in the league at this point he's played about I don't know 70 minutes and already scored twice so amazing stuff um, but three minutes later Millwall equalised for 2-2 two -two. Um, shot comes off the crossbar now I heard a whisper there was no goal line technology today so that would have been an interesting one if O'Brien hadn't followed it in it looked like the first one was either very close um, or right bang on the line bounces up um, O'Brien Heads it in, kind of floats. Spence can't keep it out, smashes it up into the roof of net. 2-2, 36 minute. Um, Sears crosses for Waghorn. He's close at the back post, misses it. Um, Counter-attack here, McGoldrick to Sears, Knudsen. Horrible cross, and I've just written down this is a massively entertaining game at this point. 45, plus one, nice attack. Knudsen bombing forward, good cross this time. Waghorn can't get it on target. 45 minutes plus two, the fifth goal of the first half. Um... Garner to McGoldrick, and this is why McGoldrick um, can be just like a ridiculous football player. He kind of goes to take on the first defender, and it's like McGoldrick knows he's had a heavy touch and reads that the defender is then going to misread his, his heavy touch. He goes up to the keeper, he takes it round the keeper, you think it's going out of play, he squares it back, and there's Waghorn again, and it's 3-2 at half-time, and I tweeted at half-time, more entertainment in that first half than... I don't know, at least 15 of last year's games put together. It was ridiculous. It wasn't big. It wasn't clever. It was four forwards basically on the pitch. Um, Spence 
kind of struggling a little bit against these um, Gregory and Morrison from Millwall and, you know, a forward at right midfield. So we're struggling a bit down there. Um, but just bonkers attacking half. Um, fantastic stuff. Into the second half, a little bit quieter here, uh, Millwall corner. Uh, Morrison has a curler to the far post. Bart makes a good save. Now, Millwall forced four corners, then 61st minute. Gregory down the right, good cross. Um, Morrison then has an overhead kick from the following corner, puts its side netting. Um, one Ipswich attack here. Um, Ipswich basically have sort of two or three minutes in this first 25 minutes of this half. Millwall are on top for most of it. Um, back on free quick goes in and Chambers is blocked out. Uh, Garner, free-ish header, not the right angle for him, puts it over. Uh, Garner gets booked. Um, um, the Millwall press at this point is just massively intense. They're swallowing us up. We don't get any time on the ball. Millwall played well from half-time right up to about 69 minutes um, Ipswich have two or three minutes of pressure, but the second half, there was some time wasting and some clinging on from Ipswich. Massive load of substitutions now. Ferguson um, in, Elliot in, Onya Denma in. The big one there is Elliot, who is the size of a fucking house. Tom Elliot, the Millwall forward. He came on and then caused absolute havoc. He is Massive, and we've only got one centre back. Uh, Rowe comes on for Waghorn, and in the 79th minute, yet another goal. Um, kind of clever free kick because a Millwall player goes right offside, then comes back forward. Um, it's swung in. Elliot's causing havoc, occupies three defenders, and pokes in from close range. Well deserved equaliser, it has to be said. Um, Chambers block and a counter attack. Rowe couldn't find anyone. And now Millwall start to retreat a little bit from their press. There's a corner for it which scrambled. Um, the ball kind of goes up in the air and Ward draws the foul from Elliot. So Elliot was an important player for giving away this free kick. Um, it takes a bit of time to be taken. And Ward gets a brilliant assist. He crosses it in and my phone lit up with a million messages to say that Spence. Heads here, the back post. Unbelievable 86 minutes. Four, three, seven goals in one game from the most boring team in England last year. Incredible stuff. Um, Spence blocks Elliot out for the free kick in stoppage time. Rowe gives a foul away in the corner, but they hold on. It was a ridiculous, ridiculous game. Um, Millwall did their best. They are not a clever team. They have a very big, very powerful forward in Morrison and a very kind of nippy, clever forward in Gregory. Um... I'm not being smug about the victory, but their main tactic is a direct ball over the top to Gregory or Morrison in the air. Morrison was great in the air. He caused absolute chaos and so did Elliot. But remember, Ipswich have no centre-backs. Um, I can't really say tactically um, anything about Ipswich because it was, um, in mixed terms, absolutely bloody bonkers. Um, Waghorn can't really defend at right midfield, but scored two goals. Spence did his best, but those two forwards were a real good one up, one down, uh, tall guy and a quick guy partnership. Um, when Ipswich had their moments of quality, they made them count. Obviously, the first two goals were kind of deflected. Great to see Garner score another assist for Iorfa. Um, Waghorn with two goals. Great assist from Ward for the first one. Even better assist from McGoldrick for the third one. I literally can't keep count of all these goals. Amazing assist again from Ward. Nice to see Spence scoring. Goals galore. I haven't looked at the league table. It's three wins out of three. Nine points. Uh, amazing start to the season from Ipswich. An amazing game. Nice to have some entertainment. Nice to be high up. If you were there, let us know what you thought in the comments. If you weren't, you missed an absolute cracker. I'm going to go and have a cold shower. Give me some Spence. See you later.